Hey everybody, we're continuing our devotional series through the book of James and today we start James chapter 4. And in verse 3 James says this, You do not have because you do not ask God. What a great invitation to us to come before God with our requests, to present them before him and say, God, we need your help. In fact, Jesus encouraged this back in the Lord's Prayer. He said we could pray this, give us today our daily bread. God, we ask you for your provision. We ask you for your grace. But James goes on after that, the very next verse, to say this. But when you ask, you don't receive because you ask with the wrong motives. Oh, wow, that's challenging. He says you've got the wrong motives because you want to spend what you get on your own earthly pleasures. Wow. So this verse has got two parts to it. The first one is you guys need to get around to asking God, James says. Ask him for the things. He wants to provide for you. But when you ask him, make sure you ask with the right motives that you're not just asking to get for yourself. So, I knew of a man who, when he was a young Christian, desperately wanted a certain kind of motor vehicle, a high-end German car. And so he would pray regularly, God, please give me this motor car. He had heard that you had to be specific. So he named the model of the car that he was desperate for. It wasn't a need, it was a desire. And he had read that God gives us the desires of our heart. But you see, God's also changing our heart and changing our desires. And that motor vehicle was just for his own pleasure, really. And over a period of time, his heart changed where he realized it's not about the car. It's about people and it's about others. God never gave him that car, incidentally. But God gave him a huge heart for people. So the challenge in these verses today is that I bring my request to God. Don't just think about them. Don't just undo it myself. Ask God. But secondly, in asking him, Ask him with the right motives. It shouldn't just be selfish. God, please provide for me. Please just provide for my family. In some ways, our prayer should be like this. God, please provide for me so that I can be a blessing to others, so that I can live a generous life, so that I can live a creative life, so that I can see your kingdom come. I trust that God gives us tremendous grace to ask with the right motives today. God bless.